we've always gone into a country, operated to the country's specific rules and regulations, and we've try to encourage the local population to develop their skill base and understanding of the industry. The lads we've got from Ghana are competent, very, very pleasant people, very polite, and most importantly, they're happy to be here. They want to be here. They're happy to be back working on a station. It's been surprisingly easy to integrate them been helped along the way by Ronnie from Blade, who has been an integral part of that. My reason for being here was to work alongside the department heads and the supervisors and the local crew content to integrate them successfully to become part of the Stena Force team. My hopes for the future, um, maybe in five years' time, GMPC should have drilling engineers who can design our roles, we should have our own block, the operators who can design the roles, we can drill and we can produce and make money for Ghana. A lot of the guys we used to have on the drill max, they are now back on here and it's nice to see that we actually train them up. They're now passing on to all the new guys that come as well. Gaining experience. So when Steiner comes in, those indigenous who come on board would at least gain some form of experience in working with Steiner, learn new ideas. So they are, they are going to explore. Even when Steiner goes back, there are other opportunities across board. They can use those experiences to get jobs elsewhere in different countries with those experiences. Within Steiner, anyway, we have a, quite a rigid training program anyway. You know, and, uh, before they're allowed even to touch any equipment that we have on board, like they're trained by our own personnel, our own assistant drillers, and they go through this rigid training process that we have. This simulator is just a great tool for these guys to get back into the swing of it and get them into thinking of a work scope again, you know. It's a really, really useful tool. Mentoring is a philosophy within STED as an organisation, but there has to be a process of um, mentoring and coaching in place and uh, the guys have developed their skill sets around that to where uh, again you'll see from some of the conversations you have that in my mind it's, it's, it's functional. It's a lot about respect and listening. We're all multicultural so it's uh, there's so many different nationalities on here. As long as you respect each other and listen to each other it's the main thing. I'm very happy. I'm proud to be part of Stena Crew. We're providing these, these guys and girls with some experience, improve their competence, their confidence and their life skills. And all of that should go together to help make the Ghanaian economy stronger. I can, I can only wish Stena forth every success for the future. And if they keep on doing what they're doing now, then there's every chance that they will remain successful.